is Angie with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a kit up of Dragon Charmer. Yes, ooh, ah, it's the one with the diamond art kit that I unboxed last month. And I'll put a link to that below. But I'd also like to say welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. It's super to meet you. I hope you stay. And you like and subscribe and ring the bell to hear more good content as it comes your way and I hope you enjoy it. If you're back, I truly appreciate you being here and I love your comments and feedback that I've been receiving and the new friends and people I'm meeting along the way. So as I was saying, I'm going to be working on the kit up for Dragon Charmer. And this is the inventory sheet that originally came with my kit in March. I believe it was March. And I'll, I'll throw the link to the unboxing down below. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a really pretty looking kit and it's interesting to see how it was packaged and all the things. So as you can see from here, the symbol number did not get printed out on, on um, the original inventory sheet. And that was not a big deal because the customer service that I received at the one with the dragon, the one with the dragon art, <laughs> they are the one with the dragon art, they're the ones with the diamond art, Megan Kathy. They sent me a copy of the list, like right away, within 24 hours. They were just fantastic. They've been super responsive. The bonus was that they sent it to me in Excel. And I guess you could do the same thing if it was in PDF, but I could enlarge it. So when I printed out um, another copy to do my stickers um, with the proper symbol number, because the symbol's missing, see, so I had to reprint it. And I'm sure they've already fixed this on anybody else that ordered ordered this again. Um, was that I could I could use it to type in information on the sheet, but you could also take your inventory sheet and do what I'm going to do if you want to. So I was thinking about this for the last couple of weeks about how was I going to do this. I'm not big at kidding up by symbol. I like to sit, I like to kid up by color and everything I do is in color and you can tell if you watched my uh, bling up video of Moon Elf that I'm very color centric and how I see things. I'm not sure why that is, but it is what it is. It's just me, right? So take a look at my kit up video of Bubble Flower, the current kit I am working on for diamond painting Deutschland uh, for the Josephine Wall event. I'm actually thinking I'm going to kit this up and I will either start it and work on it at the same time I work on Bubble Flower or I might finish my 30 by 40 section from Diamond Painting Deutschland, the Diamond Painting Deutschland kit, and then work on this in May. But it's sort of a happening. I haven't planned any of this out, what I was going to do. But it occurred to me how I could do this by doing with color. Because if you look at her picture, and I'll throw her up on the screen here, you can see there are large sections of blues and greens and browns. And I'm thinking that I could still work on this even though the canvas is white with black symbols. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen the unboxing video, the canvases for from the one with the diamond art for Josephine Wall are printed on white canvas with black letters and symbols rather than color, which is similar to a mystery kit. And I've never done a mystery kit, so this is gonna be super fun. And I'm really looking forward to working on it. And I'm in Canada, so if you are new to me, uh, hello, I'm in Canada, I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I'm having my Tim Horton coffee that my husband went and got for me. See that? Yum. So what I've gone ahead and done is I decided to take all the baggies, because this comes kitted up in baggies, for example, here's one. It has the weight and the number on it and the whole thing. And 
I put them into piles or such like subcategories by color. So you can see here I've got yellows and oranges, purples and reds. And I've got, I'm probably going to split this one into two, but I haven't decided yet. It's browns, earth tones. Earth tones are together. So that's the way I think in earth tones. And then I also have like the ones we're going to work on today because this crop might take more than one video to do. I, I don't know. We'll see how it rolls. Is we're going to work on the greens. But I want to take a small step back. Because yesterday I did something and it didn't work. So I just want to share my learning with you. Well, it didn't work for me, but maybe it would work for you. So I'll just show you that quickly. So you're probably saying, well, what happened to all the blues? Because you know there's blues in that kit. Well, this is what happened to the blues. <laughs> I bought, I've got a ton of these. I bought them off of Amazon throughout the last year. Thinking, you know, when I kit up my next diamond painting Deutschland kit or something like that, wouldn't it be cool to put the blues in the blues containers and the orange in the orange containers and the yellow in the yellow containers? And everybody knows these come in multicolors, right? So I thought, well, I'm going to try this and I'm just going to do the blues and I'm going to see how it works. So I'll just, I'll show you that I did the smallest section uh, just to try it out. And the first thing that happened was the thing that always happens to me. I got distracted. And then I forgot what color I had in my tray. So I already am not even out of the gate and I've already got a problem. So I'll just show you that. So down here, I started this really tiny section. This is like, I don't know if I measured it, I could tell you. I'll, I'll measure it in just a sec. But see, it's black and white. And it's actually coming up really pretty. And look at the sparkle on those drills. But I poured some drills out in a tray. I don't know which color it was. Because when I used this method, I was talking. My husband walked in. I poured them out. I clicked it and put it back. So I did it like subconsciously, and now I don't know which, which, tray, which tray it's from. I have no idea which symbol it was. I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out, obviously. I put them in like a baggie over here. These are the ones that didn't fit in the containers either, and I don't like these containers for that reason. But I wanted to give it a shot because these storage systems are so popular. See, I got these. I don't know which color that is. I don't know. I can't remember. And then, because I don't know if you've watched my other Whip and Chat videos, you'll see I take the little Elizabeth Ward containers like these and I put it out so I know which symbol it is and I keep it with my mini tray at the same time. Then I know exactly what I'm doing. So you can probably figure out what I'm going to do next. So, I, yeah, I started it. But I didn't get very far, did I? This was my test to see if I could deal with this. And I think I could deal with it, but I don't think it's my stop. So I'm going to switch it. I'm just gonna roll this tie back up. And now you got to see a little bit of the canvas, and I like the canvas and the glue. So far, so good. It's nice and soft on the back and everything. So yeah, this is not my style. So what I did was, there was, I didn't really see a whole lot of ways to organize these symbols that would be in any logical way other than to do the numbers in number order within the blues, because this is blue, right? And then I did it in DNC order after that. Because it appears that the first set of symbols are numerical, the next set after that are, um, are alphabet, and then it gets into symbols after that. And I, um, I was least thoughtful enough that I put scotch tape under each of these. So I should be able to pull these off and put them straight onto my Elizabeth Ward containers. So I won't bore you with re-kitting this, but I just wanted to show it to you that 
I am always trying to learn. I am always looking for new ways to do things because there is more than one way to do things and it's just endless the creations we can come up with as human beings. And uh, I'd love to see how someone else is going to do theirs. So I did this and what I did in that Excel workbook, or you could do it on your inventory sheet if you had one, is I wrote down or I typed in beside each of these colors that it, they're blue. So if I'm going insane and I can't see it here, I do have it on my Excel workbook as well to just have another way to look at things. Because I need, for me, I need to be able to look at things in lots of different ways. It's how I work. I'm actually very analytical. And I, I solve problems at work all day. I take things apart and re-audit, backwards audit, figure things out. I'm in accounting and I'm always figuring and sorting things backwards to take them apart and put them back together again. So I have to be able to look at things in multiple ways. And that's what just works for me. So the next step, and I'm going to put, I'll just do the blues another time. I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me put those onto the blue boxes, or do you? Maybe you do. Maybe later. I'll put them to the side for now. Because we're going to do the greens. So these are all been assigned as green. So I'm going to kind of stick them in some kind of order. So at least I can find the stickers. And it, I wasn't going to record all these things. But then I decided, yeah, maybe we'd like to see all this process that goes on. And maybe it is kind of fun. And I pulled out every Elizabeth Ward spare container that I have. And everybody knows by now that my preference is to use the teeny tiny containers. Well, I'm not going to have to be able to do that this time because I don't have enough of them. And that's just the way it is. I'm going to deal with it because we all have to deal with change. But I do have um, two trays of the small ones. Because when I ordered them off of AliExpress, I also ordered them off of Amazon at the same time. And then the AliExpress ones came and then I forgot about the Amazon ones and they showed up when I was on vacation and by the time I figured it out, I couldn't send them back to Amazon. So I ended up with just a ton of these uh, no-name brand Elizabeth tra Ward trays. They're the classified brand and actually I got them off of AliExpress as well. Um, I don't know what the price is these days on AliExpress. But I uh, decided I'm not ordering anymore. I'm just going to deal with what I have because I'm a big girl and I can handle it, right? I can handle it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's only a 60 by 80, right? Right. My diamond painting Deutschland kit is 90 by 70 cheap. So I can do this. I can do this. Talk through that challenge. So I'm going to have to mix it up. So take the lids off these and I have, as you can see, I did the blues last night. So I already have my stickers printed. So basically I had reprinted my, my sticker sheet because the sticker sheet I got had the symbols missing. So I went ahead and I had six sheets of stickers and I ran them through this Iron sticker or make my Iron sticker maker like this. So I would use less tape. But the other thing that I've seen people do is use scotch tape across the top or use double-sided tape underneath. And that looks pretty effective. But I already have this, so I'm going to use it. I don't know if I'll buy any more of this Iron stuff. I mean, it, it's cool and all that, but eh, scotch tape works pretty good too. Um, I'll show you the one I got. It's not refillable. So this is the one I got off Amazon. I've used it twice. I had to use it for my Alphonse Muka summer kit from Diamond Painting Shop that I got last year, last summer, or last spring. And I've used it for this one. So, yeah, I haven't used it a lot. But anyway, everybody was talking about them on YouTube before I had a YouTube channel. I thought, oh, I really want one of those. I think it was like $16 or something. 
you know, they don't make the refillable ones anymore. So I'm not really too thrilled about ordering more just to throw away more plastic into the landfill. That doesn't excite me. If the container's recyclable, then maybe, but yeah. So let's have a look. So you can see I did two, two colors. So what I'm gonna do is I know these are gonna be, this big pile over here are gonna be green, okay? So I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna put all this in order and then you can watch me get up all greens. And then at the end, when I have them all in order in my tray, here, I'll put them in numerical order to start. Or I'll just use the baggies and I will go in my Excel sheet later and I'll type in green beside each one, which will only take me a couple of minutes to do because I could just copy paste. It goes pretty well. But you can see that I put a green dot on the green, right? Then I have orange and pink and red, all the colors. And these Amazon stickers were just so cheap and so easy. Like I hardly used any. You can see I used that for Dying Deutschland. I didn't use very many. I have like, I don't know, probably enough sheets to do the next five kits that are in my stash too. So I'll talk to you in a second. So I'm back and I've gone ahead and I've organized everything in numerical order on the baggies. And so there's that. And here's the first sheet of stickers that I have left. You can see the blues were in the middle. I've already put those on in the blue container that I'm going to move to the Elizabeth Ward style containers, also called Classify or Dairies, D-A-R-I-C-E. I've also seen that on Amazon. And I think there's a couple of uh, small businesses that carry them as well. I think Diamond Painting with Sparklers has them. And I'm pretty sure there's some others if you take a look on Etsy that carry them. So yeah, so I put these on my lid like this just to put them over to the side so I don't bump them and then make a huge mess. I've been known to do things like that. So I try to prevent my own, my own self catastrophes from happening. I'm gonna slide this over and slide this over. There's quite a bit of green in here. It must be because of that pretty little dragon that she showed. It's super exciting. So just get my glasses. And I had to turn on my overhead light, which is too bad because you know, I, one day I want to get a different lighting, but it is what it is. It's the light is where it is, and I have a hard time working around the light, but I'll do what I can. This is more about a little bit about chatting and just talking about this picture, which is so super cute. And we'll put a couple of these together. And then maybe, um, I don't know, do you guys want to watch me do all every single one, or do you want to see a time lapse? I wish I knew the answer. So 164 is next, and then I can see. Um, I'm not gonna cut out all my stickers. I'm just cutting it up to the side because I don't want to have them floating all over the place. And then of course, then I have to reprint them. And I didn't find that the Excel spreadsheet was that easy to manipulate for that type of thing. It's like the symbols are kind of embedded in the cells or something so it was really hard i guess my my excel level mustn't be quite expert enough to handle it <laughs> anyways i always go with the path of least resistance so this is what works mm -hmm. maybe we should have some music i don't know i could use some chill music today that's for sure so we'll have our green sticker sheet here and um, i'm just gonna pause it and i'm gonna go get some music so I don't know if you'll be able to hear my music or not. What I like to listen to is like meditative, positive energy, feeling, relaxation type music. I'm trying to hope it's not too loud. It's hard to tell. So I'll just turn it down a little bit just in case. But I only have a few tracks because I go with the I get to download one song a month, so I only have a few songs. And you might recognize some of it because it's the intro and outro music that I use for my videos as well. And that's, that's actually why I use it because 
it's part of who, who I am, I guess, is to work on being mindful and aware of what I, how I'm being, how I'm feeling, trying to be more present. I don't know, see my pen is getting away on itself. I love this pen. Anyway, so back to this. I was all sidetracked. So a lot of these containers already have uh, scotch tape on them. That's because I find my stickers to be, uh, the stickers to be easier to remove from my hands and less work. And I will have my mini funnel and I will also get out my scotch guard. Where's my scotch guard? And my Q-tips are where I have my little scotch guard. <laughs> Static guard. Must be thinking Scotch Guard because it's absolutely pouring outside. But yeah, I use Static Guard on Q tip to cut the static. I think it's just the time of year. Here's my Q tip. And I will spray that onto a paper towel so I don't spray it everywhere in the room and onto myself included. I do not need to be static free. I'm okay with how I am. <laughs> just relaxing, right? So I'll put that over here. I got my scissors, we're ready to go. I kind of don't really need those for baggies today. So let's have a look. So this is a pretty color, number 164. So my thought process is that I'm going to kit this up using color. And I know I've said that already, but I'm like a tape recorder. I kind of have to start all over again to get the whole thought out. Um, I'm going to keep these in a pile so I know which ones to mark down on my Excel workbook or that are green. I'm just going to put them over by my computer here on the right so I don't lose track. And uh, that'll just make it faster. And uh, the thing is, if this doesn't work and I need to reorganize anything, all I have to do Let's take this sticker off and give it a new sticker, right? Like it's not the end of the world. I can reorganize all of this easily because it's gonna be in these different kind of kits. And that's where I was going with this, this blue one is I can't move those around. So if I wanna change these into a different order, I find something else works better. I also, I can't move it around very easily. And I'd have to re, I would have to pre-organize all my symbols. And I tried to do that on that Excel workbook. I tried to like take it and I thought, okay, I'm pretty smart. I can figure this out. So what I did was I gave them um, um, different categories. And the categories were easy in the beginning and then suddenly they weren't easy anymore. Suddenly they were um, getting really stressful about two thirds of the way through because the symbols in here are strange. Let's just say that. But I am gonna start and put the alphabets together and the numbers together and then everything else will just be there. And maybe we'll try organizing them after into what makes sense or I'll find symbols that work for me and how I think. The next number we're going to do is 168. And there is little bits of Bernie's Mountain Dog hair on everything because it's springtime and she's decided to shed her coat. And not much we can do but keep vacuuming on that. So I might not talk a lot while I do this. Unless I think of something I think I didn't say yet. I'll just do some. I need tweezers. 68. It's an E. I can handle an E symbol. There we go. Right under the A. What's next? F. 169. F. Oh, and this has some static. So. Get my static guard out. I'm gonna throw some of that on the end of my Q-tip. 
it, I sprayed it onto my paper towel and I just roll it in there until it's dried. Once that dries out, I'll spray some more. So you don't need very much. This works pretty well. Seems to be almost all the kits these days are having static issues. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the weather. I don't know. It's raining like crazy here. It has been on and off for a week, so I don't know why it would still be staticky. I don't know, maybe because the bags are sealed. Probably. I'm not a scientist, so. Nine. These drills look really nice too. I am liking the look of these and the ones I used on that little section last night, they actually slid really well on my tray and I kind of liked the section I was in because I was using my, my, um, my three placer, my four placer. It wasn't too bad. And I'm doing the 60 by 80 kit size. And I was surprised because I thought with 229 colors, I'd be single placing the entire time. And so I'm feeling really encouraged that I'm not going to have to. So now I'm thinking maybe I can do both kits together. It would not be super fun to be able to do that. And Art is a sponsor we're having. Yeah. So I hope you check them out. And that was 319. Sticking with the alphabet, so far we're safe. We're still in alphabet land. Oh, we get to do a W next. Yay. And three, six, eight, and three, six, nine. So we may as well pre-cut those. And I don't know what that one is. You see that one? That's like a V with a something on it, but I don't know what I would even call that. Is it a triangle or a V? I don't know. Hmm. If I just pull these off, it will just be easier. Like that. So I'm just gonna do these three next. I think we're missing a piece of tape on this guy. So I just use regular old scotch tape. Well, that seems to last forever on there and it makes everything removable. I know people also use washi tape for the same reason, but I seem to have bad luck with washi tape. The washi tapes that I've had usually um, were, were uh, where's my little trash bin? Were, um, they would just peel off and it wouldn't stay on. So, I need my tweezers. I'm fidgety. Feeling fidgety today. Still getting over my flu. There we go. Having a good hour, a couple hours right now, so I thought I'd work on this. Too. Yeah, that's all kind of guitars, kind of annoying. Well, at least for me, it was distracting. There we go, there's W. And, whoops. We have X368. are stuck in the bag too.
Yeah. My printer's not very good, but I can still read that. The symbols came out well, but the DMC codes did not. But that's okay, because I'm not going by DMC code anyways. Three sixty nine. It's also is it staticky? Mm, maybe not. Yeah, it's a little. I'll run that around in there a minute. Yeah, I'm liking the look of these drills. They look nice and shiny and clean. You know, I was thinking the other day. I was thinking. Everybody, make, everybody makes a big deal about little bits of trash. I guess I haven't really had a lot of trash. And it does it, and how much does, the other part of me was thinking, how much does trash matter? Does it, does it matter if they're giving you enough to work with? Or does it matter when you don't have enough drills to use? And I'm going to say, well, this is not working. Maybe I'll just stick this on with tape because it's not. I ripped it too tight. I'm just gonna tape it straight on. Um, I fidget with that. So I was thinking, yeah, there is a point where people are showing trash and tracking their trash and all the rest of it. And I'm like, I never really kept my trash. Um, I know I had that Life of Tigers kit had quite a bit of trash in it, but the from Diamond Art Club, but the last kit I did, Moon Elf, I didn't really throw away a whole lot of drills. So there's that, I just taped it on instead. Easy. Maybe that's ease almost easier, but now I've made the stickers, so I'll keep using them. Um so yeah, I don't know. What does everybody think about that? I think trash only becomes a problem when you don't have enough quality drills or the drills are pitted so you line them up in your tray and you multiply something and then you end up with pitted drills actually on your picture or you have to pick them all out. I don't know. I was just, it was just some thoughts I was having. I was like, what is the big deal about trash? I guess there's, because there's always going to be some, right? I don't know. And, and, and then trash is also subject to interpretation. So, you know, the saying goes, isn't it, one of the sayings goes, one person's trash is another person's treasure. Okay, and that's not true, maybe in this case, but some of sorted with how perfectly perfect their drills need to be. I like my drills to line up nice and look pretty. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I was just all these interesting ideas around what is trash and how do we define it? I think if we have big chunks of things in or tons of drills with tags, that would be annoying. But like I'm looking at this little packet of drills and I'm not seeing trash. This is my DPCAL creations tray. Let's have a look at these ones just because we're talking about trash. Okay, there's a piece. I can easily pull that out like that. And I just don't, I'm gonna pull out some ADs too. Those seem to line up pretty nice. I see another little tiny piece. But this isn't a big deal. I think these look good, you know? I love these trays. It's great trays. So yeah, <laughs> so now we're getting into a symbol. Now I could say that's a lightning bolt, okay? I get that that's a lightning bolt. Let me put it over here with the other symbols that I already kitted up. So in that pile. So this is 372. I don't have any static there. Hardly worth putting it in a uh, container, but I will. I don't know. Come on, come on out. I, the, th 
thing is, I, I don't want to leave any in the bag because I don't know if I'll have it. Sure or not, because I have never worked on a kit from the one with the diamond art before. I don't know if they give you 10% extra, but sometimes 10% extra. Three seventy-two. There we go. If you only have, you know, fifty drills, it'd only be five extra drills. So you have to be careful. I don't know how many drills that is, but that is not very many. That's not very many drills. And look, it's a clover leaf. I can make that out. Still good, doing good here. Going good. Symbols are good. Let's see. Four sixty-nine. Oh, you know what? I didn't put my green dots on. Too busy talking. Yep, too busy talking. You guys are going, when are you gonna put on the green dots? Well, I'll do it now. It's just so busy talking. Because <clears throat> I've decided all of these are definitely green. There's no question. It's the browns and oranges that can sometimes get confusing. And I think, you know, by the time I pull out the blues and the greens and the purples and the paints and the white grays and blacks and I put them together, the browns are gonna be in their own, our own tray. And then I'll be able to put them in some kind of order that makes sense for me. And, um, That's what I'm thinking. And again, I love that I can change my dots. I just pull it right off and put on a different color. I think a uh, tan color should be in the grays or a gray should be in the tans or, you know, I can move it around and I can reorder my stuff. if I can find it to the way it works for me. these two Let's see that one that just peel these off really easy and they come off really easy too there we go we're coming along see we've got some done if I stop talking maybe I'd get some work done right guys So we'll do a couple more colors here. Now that one's interesting. That one looks like a diamond off a ring. 469. That's an interesting one. So we have 470, 471, and 472. So I'm gonna cut those. Excuse me if I sniff a little bit, I still, I'm still sick. And I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm not very excited about that. Because I've been out of the office since Wednesday last week. And I'm in the middle of finishing some projects. Some people that need my help. So, yeah. Anyway, that one looks kind of like a ladder. Or is it like the Greek, the Greek Roman numeral too? But then it's going this way. So it has to go this way. So I think it's a ladder. Well, we'll see. The next one is, I don't think it needs a green dot. Let's not forget the green dot. Maybe I should just do all the green dots at the end. That's probably easy. 471, that's a moon. I can handle that. It's pretty obvious to put together with something similar. But we'll see what all our shapes look like before I try and do that. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, 
I just did the wrong one. That was $4.69 in the $4.70. <gasps> oh my. So this is $4.69. This is $4.70 in that. So let's just stop. Hold the phone because I'm talking. You guys probably saw me do that. Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh, because I can't hear you. <laughs> so let's put 469 back. So we're safe. Oh my gosh. Too busy talking. Too busy talking. I just noticed we're using a green funnel for the greens. Again, talking. Not getting work done. 470. 471 there. Put this one over here. 469. Oh, I didn't cut. That's why I cut it at the bottom. Looking at it, that diamond shape. And it went whizzing right past it. Let's see. 469 on one of these. So I had one there. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to do the green dots last so I don't get distracted. And it might not have mattered if I mixed up two green colors, if they were the same tone, like medium, light, medium, or dark green. It might not have mattered. But I caught it early, so I'm okay, right? So. I wouldn't want to do that on her face or her arms, though. That would look weird. I'm really curious to see how her face is going to turn out. I wonder how long it will take me to get to that, paint, that point. So we have more static drills, so I need to spray some more static guard. It's evaporated already. It's also a DP Gal Creation tray. Sponsor the Josephine Wall event. That better. And they don't pour in the bag from the bag to the little box very well, do they? That looks better. 471. Been keeping everything in DMC order for now. 472. Now that's a hashtag. To me, I would put that in with like symbols, math symbols. That's just, I'm gonna get one with some tape on it already so I don't have to stop. There we go. 472. Oh, look what I just did. Do things like that. Be careful. Good thing I didn't dump her in. in. Get her one hit the floor. There's one. Mm -hmm. That's it. I lost one. Oh well. Oh, there's one on the table. Maybe that was it. 472. Some more here. I want to skip ahead and I'm going to look at these ABs. There are two green ABs in here. I thought there was two green ABs. Well, I know about this one for sure. 704. Look at this. I just want to show you this. So I remember from the unboxing how pretty these were. Those are pretty nice, hey? I think they have good shine on them. Yep. They look good. Number 704s. Aren't they pretty? So let's find number 704 sticker. 
must be on the next sheet. And it's here. Because I pulled them out already because I got all excited because I love this color green. It's so pretty. It's so spring like. I wonder where it goes in the picture. That's the thing, eh? I'm not sure if I can bling this up because of the way the picture is. I have to think about that. I think it came with four ABs already. So we'll just have to see. I might add some more ABs or some metallic drills to her jewelry. Like in metallic drills. Once I get the groove going, which is kind of why I started in the bottom left in the blues, in her dress, kind of low key to see how that'll work up. I do have lots of square ABs that I might just, I might pull them out and see um, what blue ones I have. It's like, I can't, don't recall, there, there's one blue AB. I think it's a dark blue, but it would be nice to add in a medium blue or a light blue as well. Or is there two? Now I don't remember. Hey, look. Let's look. So one thing about this is I can look. Oh yeah, there's this one and that one. So the 775 and the 820 are both ABs. That's interesting. Oh, and there's three blue ABs. 3841, I forgot. So there is three ABs in here. Maybe I don't need to add any more. Hmm. Yeah. Those look nice too. Yeah, I'll re-kit the, re these later. One night, I'm just listening to other people's YouTube videos. <laughs> Listen to other people's whip, whip and chats and other people's kit ups. I, I love to do that. Or sometimes I like to listen to podcasts, you know, documentaries and things. I especially like to watch um, people's travel diaries, people that go around the world. Right now I'm watching a YouTube creator called Sailing Triteria, Sailing Triteria, and it's this really cool guy. Who, anyways, this guy, he's out of San Francisco and he's got a really cool little sailboat and he had a live the other day. I couldn't believe it. He was celebrating 100,000 subscribers. I'm like, that is insane. And I went to his live just for fun because I go to lives sometimes and I pop around in and out of lives. I don't always stay very long. Um, I don't always say very much, but I like to say hi to people. And sometimes I hang out. But anyway, um, this guy had, had 600 people in his live chat, okay? And I'm thinking, wow. I can I I don't even know if I could even handle a live with 50 people in it. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tension deficit going on sometimes. And I'm like, I would feel so bad if I missed anybody's comments or whatever. I want to say hi to everybody. I mean, how could you? That that chat was just whipping. And today I was watching Shay's live, and she had a hundred people in there. I'm like, wow, that is amazing. How do you keep up with that? That's a different kind of skill set. I haven't tried. I don't know. Maybe in the fall I'll try it. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't have the energy for that right now. This, the, just doing this process and making all these videos pushes my envelope every week. And I think it's good for me. I'm an extroverted introvert, if that makes any sense. I can be introverted. Uh, I would sit in my room as a kid. And I, you wouldn't see me for 10 hours. I'd be drawing. I would forget to eat and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> that would be me. So, let's get those off there. It's easier to find the symbols if I do that. So, next we have 501, 502, and 503. Let's do these three. 
So I hope you are finding this video interesting as I ramble on. My husband is making dinner tonight, so I can work on this for a little bit. He, uh, I can smell it. <laughs> it's good that I can smell it. I couldn't smell anything yesterday. It does mean I'm getting a little bit better. do is I'll break for dinner and then I'll finish this up tonight or tomorrow after work and then I'll come back and show you guys I'll add in the next part of the video and we'll look at what the greens look like of course you'll think this is all one video but I'll have on a different shirt right um, or unless I do it tonight and I keep recording that could happen too it's possible just depends on how long all this takes and how long of a video you want to watch. I don't know, would you guys watch videos that are more than an hour long? Normally, hit ups and things that I see are about an hour long. And that's kind of the high end of things. So I don't know. Maybe you could tell me in the comments, geez, I love long videos or I like 40 to 50 minute videos. Like, meet more people. Yep. Yeah. I'm really having fun with that. Most recently, I uh, had a, had some fun comments from some other YouTube creators. I had some fun comments from uh, Maritza at Kiss My Crafts. She is so funny. She left me a, a message on one of my videos. And another one this week was Kimmy, Queen Kimmy of Crafts. It's Queen, Queen, Queen Kimmy of Crafts. Her too. Yeah. So that's been super fun. Oh, I just got a buzz on my phone. That must mean I need to stop talking. Go have some dinner. So I will be back with you guys again, either tonight or tomorrow. See you shortly. Back in a minute. Good morning, guys. Here it is. Take a look. As it turns out, there are 76 greens in this kit. So this actually ended up being a much bigger tray than I thought. Um, so I didn't use very many of the other size uh, for this color because I wanted to be able to fit everything in here together into one tray. So that's super interesting. I didn't expect there to be that many greens. Who would have thought? 76 greens. So the alphabet's there. So I'm going to pull these out because this looks like, I'll zoom this out a little. <clears throat> this looks sort of like a nature symbol, the weather. This is a diamond ring, so that could be like home. This to me, I'm not sure. I think that could be a ladder, but it also looks a lot like this one. That's the hashtag. I'm going to put that together. A heart to me goes with a clover and the diamond ring goes together. And that's actually uh, like a math symbol. So we'll put that here. This could be the sun or a math symbol. I'm calling it a math symbol. This is like a sign. I'm not sure. This is like the home I'm gonna put. That's like a cocktail glass. I'm gonna stick it there. This is uh, actually a math symbol, but because it's uh, an E, I'll put it with the other E's for now. I may end up moving it. This moon can go with the lightning bolt for like the weather. This is another hashtag, just to make life more confusing. And I don't know what that is. Is that like a candy or a bomb or like, what is that? I'm gonna put it there. Arrows. I don't know if there's more arrows. I don't remember seeing any. I have no idea what that is. There's lots of those. I have no idea what they are. A star. I'll put that with the night sky. This looks like a horoscope sign. I'm going to put it with, but it could be a Greek letter. So I'm going to put it with the math. This looks like trees. 
I'm going to put it with the clover. I don't know what this is. This could be, I don't know <laughs> what that is. I'll put it there. This looks like some kind of Greek alphabet letter. I'm going to stick it here or a yin yang symbol. This, I don't know. Is that a candy? I'll put it over here. It's not looking very hopeful here. Some of the symbols don't make any sense to me. They're nothing that I could even classify. So this looks like a dress, so we'll put this over here with the cocktails and a diamond ring. So here they are, all organized. So I have alphabet here, then I get into the arrows, they're all together, and then sort of like triangle geometric shapes here. More, a lot more, also more along the lines of pointing arrows. And this one that I never really, this one didn't really have a spot, so I just put it in the bottom. And then we get into math symbols down here. This whole row is anything to do with that I could consider to be mathematical type signs in my mind. And then we get into domestication like um, clover leaves, bells, strawberries, there's a mushroom, a flower, a house and the moon and a wheel from a boat. And then we get into locks and ironing and more domesticated things. This looks like a person. That looks maybe like an eye. That looks like a top of a diamond ring and a dress and a shoe and a cocktail. Some of a domesticated column. Maybe this is like a water drop. And over here is the column of things that I don't know. And I haven't really determined what they are. Some of them look like they could be horoscopes or possible Greek letters. So yeah, so that's the green kit. So that concludes part one of Kitting Up the Dragon Charmer by artist Josephine Wall, licensed by the one with the diamond art. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some tips and tricks, and if not, were at least entertained by my sticker fun and ramblings on. Please like and subscribe so you can find out about part two. See you soon. Bye.